All right. Yeah, so you want to go to? Oh. Uh, I did, but I don't want to wait I forgot what's going on. Because I had a lot of shit that I had ready because actually my, my daughter's uh, husband was supposed to come out. He was supposed to pick up these these young cats from down the street from me and bring them out here. But I think he had to work with them. He's, still in. he's, he's gonna get out here. He's definitely gonna come. Rather he can continue to mess with him. But I know he's gonna come out. I'd like out a scripture for you. She's excited. He comes bottle. He comes to get me. He's like, I'm going to go to the teacher. So. People hear this shit sometimes, man. And it sounds, it's, it reminds me, I think that's the um, Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, I'm pretty sure, where it mentions how people hear it and it sounds good to them. It's like a lovely song. But let me just get it. That's just like, yeah, just like John and Tim Chatter, the sheep hear my voice. Get that too. Y'all get that. Yo, why are you getting that? Let me read this real quick, because I just seen this scripture. I thought it was kind of kind of funny, actually. The Proverbs, this is a good scripture. Proverbs, where am I at? 18 and 21. He that begetteth a fool doeth it to his sorrow. And the father of a fool hath no joy. So it said, the father of a fool hath no joy. Right, complete, you completely just looking down like, oh shit. It's embarrassing, man. It's embarrassing. Having a fool walk around. Let me keep going. He's not helpful in no damn way. He's just a burden. So a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. Uh, a wicked man taketh the gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are in the ends of the earth. In Proverbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A foolish son is a grief to his father. <laughs> a foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her that bear him. Right. <laughs> Mom and dad is ashamed of that little Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of these parents should be ashamed of their children. You know what I mean? Man. They should be ashamed of their damn self for not teaching their children properly. Yep. <laughs> he that begetteth a fool doeth it Yeah, we just gotta go read some props. What's up, man? What up, Rodney? Why don't you stop and listen for a second? Come here for a minute. Say, oh, come on. Give me two minutes. I'll two. give you a minute. I'll give you 60 seconds. You asked what this is all about. That's wild. See, you asked what this is all about. Yeah. See, this is about teaching the Bible. Right. It's all scriptural what we're doing, man. Yeah. Don't you know we're at the end of the world now? Yeah. What's your nationality? I am Caucasian. You're a, you know a Caucasian man? Right. No. You, you, you know you're a student, right? Yeah. You should know things, man. <laughs> Caucasian means cave dweller. Cave Cave dweller. Caucasian. <laughs> but you're an Edomite. Right, According to the Bible, that's your biblical name. You're Caucasian. That's your biblical name. You're an Edomite. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's good to know I who you are. I am like Bible. the least religious person I've ever been. You, well, the book ain't a religious. Bible ain't a religious book anymore. Well, you got no religion. It's not a religious book. I went to book. Catholic school for like 13 years and then went to public my senior year. I hated that shit, but they probably had a bunch of bad <laughs> bitches there, didn't they? Not always, man. You, get, you get molested by your priest. <laughs> What's up? You they doing a lot of that, man. You give me a lot of space. Nah, no, I heard me say You want to say you did anyway. You know, you know, you, you said that, man. Because you said, like, you went to Catholic school, like, that you made... You came out with the perfect scripture. Oh, what? Well. It's the perfect time. Oh, no, because... Cause, just because you went to Catholic school don't mean you know anything about the Bible, okay? Because the Catholics... No, I don't know anything about the Bible. The you went to Catholic school? I won't pretend like I do either. I just... <laughs> I feel you. Goodbye, man. I'm, I feel you. The Catholics are a bunch of devil worshipers. You know that? Are they? What does Catholic mean? Oh, actually, the word univer Catholic <laughs> means universal. Okay, that's where the word university comes from. Because the first universities were started by who? The church. I got So, so without without the church, there'd be no university. I know you heard something about it, though, because you got too much laughter in you. Man, why are you so no, happy? I, I just think it's I don't know. I think it's funny, man. What's funny? <laughs> Let's be out here. 
Just yeah. How yeah. many people have you gotten to stop? Like, you never thought like, damn, they may be up to something. No, nah, I mean, I walked past the first time and then I saw you guys here and didn't know what it was all about. Why you think it's, you think it's funny? I was out here teaching. It's a good. It's a like freshman. No, I'm a senior actually. What you take? I am strategic communication and economics. What are you planning on doing with that after? You? I have no idea, man. You know Just, there ain't no jobs, though. Yeah, that's so I You know that, don't you? Yeah. Let's see what happens. You get a job. That's why, that's why I get an internship, man. So you get you a... Where are you from? I'm from Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah. Suburbs of Cleveland? No, I'm from Garfield Heights. Oh, that's east. That is, no. It's, I mean, Garfield, it's not like, I know Garfield not, Heights. It's not bad. I mean, oh, I know, I know, I know. I know. I just hang out in Garfield myself. Oh, no, I cool. Yeah, I had a couple bad bitches up there, but oh, yeah. <laughs> Garfield's nice. It used to be nice. Yeah, I don't know it, how it is now. I mean, it used to be nice. It's going downhill a little bit, but... Why would you come here when they got Cleveland State up here, though? I don't know. I, um, I always wanted to come here to see, get away from home, you know, experience what it's like to be on my own. You know what that? So, you know what that? Fun. Like 25, 25 grand in debt now. Woo! And, uh, That's it. I have, and, I have, and it's actually not bad. It ain't bad. That's and I'm, I'm working almost full time. That's all college is for. So. College is there to put you in debt. You go to parties. I, yeah, I drink. I tell mean, I go out. And stuff. Do you see? Yeah, you butt what, like going out? You yeah, butt chug? No, it. never butt chug. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Don't do that. But uh, yeah, I go out, man. Yeah, you see a lot of faggot shit in the parties, I bet. Don't you? Nah, never, never really. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of homosexuals up here. Oh yeah. Oh, you don't, you can't tell. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with it. it doesn't bother me you at know, all. You know, you don't. Let me get scripture for that. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what the Bible says about that. They teach you. They teach you that though. They teach you to accept everything, to accept everything and anything. I mean, not not Catholicism, man. I, they didn't teach me that. <laughs> they taught me to pretty much that going to church would kind of save you, pretty much. Hey, and get that I didn't go to church. <laughs> Describe, no, so. Describe, get the uh, no size temple. You're in church right now. This is church. This is church. But check this out, I got a scripture. Church is actually in the streets. Yeah. Because church itself, the word means to call out. It comes from a Greek word. It means to call out. Check this out. This is Leviticus 20 and 13. Now this is the law, okay? Now this law, this law overrides every other law on the planet of Earth. Do, we do just want to give you these couple of scriptures. You know, Aye, that's cool. do, do you, know, you know who Ronald Reagan is, right? Yeah. Okay, you know Ronald Reagan, you know, he passed a bill right. in Congress that said that the Bible is the law of the land. And that the people are supposed to study the Bible. You know that's a law, right? I uh, know. There's an actual law in the books that says the Bible is the truth and the, is the law. Uh, All right, now watch this. Now this is the law. It's got, go when you get home. Google year of the Bible. Go and actually look it up on Wikipedia. Year of the Bible. Right. Now listen to this. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lies with a woman. Both of them have committed an abomination. Not the man and the woman, but the man and the man. Both you said both of them have committed an abomination. Whether you receive it or give it. Pitching or catch here. That's right, they're both an abomination. Both of them. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So that's what it's so that's a law. Okay, that's what are you are you an anarchist? I'm not. So, you, I so we're not anarchists. We believe on law and order. Now, when you got a bunch of faggots running around, that, that's living a lawlessness and living in decadence, okay? Living in filth. All right? Because you, you know what happens when you get on that, when, when all that doo doo getting rubbed all over the place? That causes infections and diseases. And it becomes a threat. Are you familiar with scat sex? Yeah, and everybody's I mean, heard of but what? I mean, what makes you guys think that all of them have sex, you know? Of course they do. They're both. Well, you, why, can, why you, can, you can tell all, who, all who homosexuals. All homosexuals. You can yeah, tell well, by the way. Why, watch them when they walk down the street. They all look like they got something plugged up their ass. Really? Those are butt <laughs> but a lot of them use butt plugs, and butt they walk plugs. around and make their butt loose. And a lot of them fist butt each plugs. other. They be fisting each other. They stick the whole fist in their ass. That's that's what's hot these days. I mean, it sounds like you guys. Dang. You know, Come here, baby. <laughs> are we just saying on generality, so. No, no, no. It, it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> like stereotypes are true, are they not? I mean, not always. Not. Uh, well, for the most part, I want to true. Give one example that's not. Yeah, so tell me one that's not. One example that's not true. One. Because uh, we just went to a Popeyes chicken. <laughs> oh no no, church, church chicken. chicken. <laughs> one number black people in. <laughs> all right, but you have. Right, say, you say the stereotype. You have 
um, you have to be a black person. Right. And they say that black people take down a neighborhood. Why is they that do. true? They do! Why is that true, though? Because it's true! I, I get description of people. Right. Let me, well, let me break it down for you, man. Because we're set up in a position that blacks were put on the bottom pole. And I, yeah, right? I realize so that. So if we can't afford to break the grass and paint the house, of course the bike is going to That's not, I'll show you the you number one saying? reason why like society is Society is society is designed for it to be this way. Yeah. Because we're under curses. And, and no, yeah, yeah, you, you curses. Just, we're under curses. Yeah, because this is Satan's kingdom. Do you know? All right, what made, what, all right, what makes you guys believe that God and Satan are real? Well, of course they're real. They well, prove it. They prove it. Well, well, first of all, well, just make some, 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 some Just to clear something up. Been no. about like right, so what does science mean? Anything? What does the word science mean? They just, you know what Higgs boson is? No, what does the word science they, mean? Science is the study of no, 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 all no, 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 living the things. Words, what does the word science mean? The word science. What, like science in general? Like the couple, word, the word science. Sciences. The word, S C I. Right, what, what does it mean? It means knowledge. It means to know. Yeah. Okay. That's what science means. Now, let me ask you a question. Who's the greatest scientist in all universities who teach this? Who do the universities teach as the greatest scientist of all time? Isaac Newton. Oh, maybe. there you go, Isaac Newton. Now, Isaac Newton was a Christian. And you know what Isaac Newton said? He said atheists are odious. Wow. But he, that was also like he said atheists are well odious. over what, what was that? Maybe like oh, what, 70, 80 no, years. Wait, okay, no. Well, no, no, that was back during the seventeen hundreds. Uh, listen, but no, I'm I'm just saying like, but listen, man, like Isaac without Newton, Isaac kind of, Newton, there would be no modern science. Without Isaac Newton, there would be no satellites. Without, without Isaac Newton, you, 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 you got to start somewhere. But I'm just saying all the advances they have made. It came from Isaac it, Newton. It makes it, it makes it hard to believe. Let me ask you, you know, a question. Who did Isaac Newton, where did he say he got his knowledge from? I have no idea. He said he got it from God. He said the Most High revealed it to him in the Spirit. Who is true. to say that that's true. true? Well, it that's what true. he said, though. That's what he said. You Check think, this out. I think he knows himself. This is 1 Timothy 6 and 20. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. Avoid profane and vain babblings in oppositions of science falsely so called. Like, like uh, evolution is not science, okay? There's not enough data to even prove that filth to be true. Well, what about, hold up. What about Lucy, though? Well, what about <laughs> Lucy? Yeah, yeah. What about Lucy? Hold up. Oh, no, 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 no. It's Lucy well, it wasn't bullshit? even a human. It was a monkey. It was a monkey. About this but tall. It's and, a no, cross between. And, now, listen. It is the evolution no, of a monkey See, to a human. evolution. There's no evolution. It is that, how, it's how, a cross between the two. They, they, how would they get, like, five little bone pieces? It's nowhere even complete. It's not even, like... It's it, just a part of a school. It's been like not even 15% complete. Right, right. And plus they found some of the pieces like miles away from the other pieces. It's like it's the same. It's science. Sway, it's Swedo science. Swedo science. It's not science. Well, it says avoid profane and vain babblings. Do you know Darwin? You know Darwin was a eugenicist. You know what eugenics is? No, no, no. All modern science is based on eugenics. Okay, if you don't know what eugenics is, you need to go on Google and look up eugenics. And eugenics, what it is is uh, racism through science. Okay, it's, they, they like he's talking early about the black people and how they how the white man targets black people in the neighborhoods. He puts uh, chemicals in the water. Okay, when, when he shoots them up, when he shoots the little kids up with the vaccinations. Okay, do you know they have a uh, they have a uh, gene genetic specific drugs they. Uh, like AIDS, you know what AIDS is? Manufactured for a certain A AIDS genes. is a man-made disease. That's it's it's targeted against mostly black people. Well, these people. These people. <laughs> and they said there's a lot of white people. What, what, what religion would you guys consider yourself? No, we don't have or a religion. What, what, are, what are you guys considered? Prophets of the Lord. The prophets of the Lord out here teaching the truth. Right here, you know, because the Lord's coming. We're out here to put out to wake up the elect, not everybody. Like we're out here kicking it with you, we're yeah. just kicking it with you. Well, oh, we're, yeah. out, we're, we're just out here to open up the election. Yeah. Not just everyone. You, you, you say know. you don't even believe in the most high. No, I, I don't. So really. you're totally hopeless. I pretty much believe that I am going to die and I like will science go and right into the earth. But and you're that professing science then. Well, the Bible says you're going to earth. It's science. Uh, most science is based on like strict It's based facts. on eugenics. It's based on like strict facts. Okay, though. okay. Prove to me. I could, I, hey, I couldn't prove to you anything. I, but are you a scientist? No, I'm not. 
Would you believe the science? But I believe that if you can break something down with a perfect what, like, what, mathematical what, equation. Okay, yes, break down evolution. Show me the I, 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 I couldn't I couldn't break down evolution. You, you, you just you just mentioned Lucy, but if if you would known the real facts behind Lucy, which I mean this is old news, okay? They Ben Long said, yeah, we found half the bones like miles away from the other bones. It's not even a person, it's an ape. It's a monkey, okay? Yeah. And it, and it only has not even 50% of the monkeys are eight. So why are there still monkeys and eight? Oh yeah, that's the age old question. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I, I got a question for you. So they say evolution takes millions of years, right? Millions and millions of years. If it takes that if evolution takes millions and millions of years, that means people must have been in this currently evolved state for like at least a million years. So uh, please explain to me, please explain to me how come writing, uh, the calendar, domestication of animals, agriculture, all these things arose uh, about 6,000 years ago. They, they all just pop up well, all that. at the same time. All at the same time. There, there are so no, many no. different theories no. on that stuff. You hear like, People say ancient oh, aliens. You hear you're well, about that no stuff. Aliens, just angels. The, 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 there's no aliens. The spaceship. I don't believe that. But I'm just saying, like people have that's all their a, That's in the Bible. Stuff. That's in the Bible. You don't believe in uh, UFOs? That's the know. angels. I believe. I mean, I feel the universe is so it's it's beyond not, comprehension. How oh, big okay, it is. no, it's not. But look, so how is it? it no, it's not. How do you okay. say it's not though? The Russian cosmonauts. We, we have listen. we have a space. We have a shuttle that is over 15 billion miles away from the Earth, no, no, and it's true. now that's reaching. Not it's that's now not reaching interstellar space. No, that's not it's, true. it's leaving that's interstellar not true. space. He's talking about just like just listen. Yes, just I like mean. just like a, the, uh, the man sent us a, a vehicle in the ocean, right? And it goes down. Mm -hmm. It can only go so far, right? Yeah. See, it's, it's the same way out there. That's water. Right? So it, it can only go so far. Now Besides, listen to me, though. What you call? Because it don't listen. It can't. It can't. It can't get past. You ever heard of the uh, the Van Allen radiation belt? It's a radiation belt that's protecting the Earth from rays and whatever's out there. Okay, it's a radiation belt. Oh, it's the angels. Intense out radiation. There. What happens when you with anything is in radiation? It melts, <laughs> you know. So that, that whole bullshit never, about the Earth, we've been to the moon. They never even went to the moon. They never even been to the moon. So how do you how do you explain stars, for example? The Most High made them for for life. So well, hold on, let me. But how do you explain how far away they are? How do you explain you, you the don't Most know, High? You don't know where they are. But let me tell you what something. They, say, hold on, hold on, they just hold on. tell you they're far away. But who's? They're just. How do they know they never been there? I mean, but how do you <laughs> believe that the people that wrote that book wrote? True? Right, now listen Spirit. to me. Now listen to this. Spirit. You want to talk about space travel, okay? Now the Russians were the first ones in space, okay? They had they had the best space uh, space program of anybody. Always have, okay? Still does. Just like they had the best military. Always have, okay? Still does. Now listen, Russian cosmonauts were in outer space, okay? Well, as far as they can go, and they seen, said they seen giant giant celestial beings with wings that had human faces. Hey, Crespo. And they were, what are they, what are they? What are you doing? Lying, hanging out, you know. So are they lying? <laughs> now these are professional men. These are cosmonauts. That means they're highly educated men, highly credible sources. Right, who people listen to. Right, you know? Because they just don't ship anybody up in the outer space. Now these men, there's numerous witnesses, they seen Giant, giant celestial, celestial beings with wings. How do you know what they say is true? Why would they? Why would, why would it? Why they weren't crazy happen? people. They were astronauts. Okay, I, I, went to the moon. okay put it this why? way. Because what? Russia was, they were the first ones to reach out in space. Yeah. America's sitting back like, oh shit, we gotta make up something. We can't be looking bad. That moon man. That's that pride. You know who Stanley Kubrick is? Yes, I do. Okay, he made 2001: Space Odyssey. What year did that come out? No idea. The same, the same time as the moon landing. The Stanley Kubrick is the one that filmed the moon landing. So all that footage you see from the fake moon landing was all a movie. Yep. It was just a movie they broadcast to the world. And That's actually, it 2000, yeah. You ever heard of there's a there's a tape called Look on YouTube. It called it's called a funny thing happened on the way to the moon. You can't. It on YouTube. You can't possibly believe that. You know why? Look at that that the. the What's that little, the little rocket, the, the pod, the, you know, the one they landed or junky? That, it looks <laughs> look like aluminum. It looks like it's made out of aluminum foil <laughs> and corkscrews. Like looks like we made it I in mean, the hood. I, I've, seen, look like, I've seen all this stuff, like you know, how they say like the flag is blowing in the wind. Right, right, like that. right. 
What happened? You actually think they've been to the moon? What does devil mean? What is devil? Yeah, devil. I mean, like, Satan, I guess. No, uh, they're two different things. Satan spirit. is different than the devil. An evil spirit. Evil These spirit. are devils walking around. Hey, these are um, devils. Get, was it... The, the, devil's angel, the angel that was sent down from heaven That never happened. That's not, that's, that's not in the Bible. That's not in the Bible. That's all made up, too. There's, there's no but devil means deceiver. And yeah. that's what these people do. These yeah. devils do. They deceive the world. All right, isn't the Bible symbolic, though? It's not like based some on of facts. It. Some a of lot it of it is. Some of it is. You got to be spiritual to understand. What? It. It's not for everybody to understand. Yeah. It's it, just for a selected few. Well, first of all, the most I got to reveal the knowledge to you. All right. What makes you guys think that when we die, we don't just go right into the earth and then... We, we, that's, we do. That's what we do. Off. You do go to the earth. We never we said just, we just otherwise. Your body goes to earth. We don't know what happened, so I feel like that's we, how before it's going to be born, when we die. We, we knew all that before yeah. we were born, but we were doing everything. Yeah, see, what's gonna, what happens after we die? It's going to be exactly you, you, I'm about to tell you. When you die, die, the scripture is going to show you, but when you die, your, your body's going to go to where it belongs, to the earth, to the earth, and your spirit that got your body running, the energy, what your, you feel your head, you're kind of, you know, you're hot, right? That's the spirit inside you. That's the spirit is going to return to the Heavenly Father that made it. That's not just body temperature? No. Well, that's the spirit. This causes a body temperature. What? It's the spirit. Now they say the spirit is like way, it's like super duper high. You Check know, this out. it's a fact that when you, it's a medical fact that when the body dies, you it weighs like salt. Point. There you go. That's that spirit. That's that spirit that leaves up out of it. I've heard that. I've heard that. You, you can't see all of existence with your, with your human eyes. It, there's... There's more dimensions than what you can see. That's right. Yeah. Check this out. Check Ecclesiastes this out. 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. Because why? The scriptures say Adam was formed from the dust. So we're dirt. Okay. The scriptures also refer to Jacob as a worm. Like we're a worm. Okay. Why is that? Because we're going to eat dirt. Okay. okay. All right. So, so we're supposed to believe that... Oh, you us, don't have to believe this little you we, don't have we, to believe it. the earth is smaller than like a piece of sand so we're supposed to believe that we here on earth like we are special enough like you know right. say that right. see no see no, 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 to have somebody like to have a higher power well just on us all, all that you know what like that is that, that that's here. just that propaganda they push they want you to make uh, like like Carl Sagan and a, a pale blue dot. Right. They want they sense. they try to make you feel insignificant. That's why they try to say you come from an animal. They don't they, well, they don't they don't want you to know that we're not animals. That actually us Israelites we're gods. Well, it's profiting them the world not knowing the truth. It profits them. That's all. That's all the. the people. It profits them. That's that. That's that psychology they're playing on. Right. That's how they can fill these universes up. Because the elite, you know, the elite they don't believe in evolution. They, they, worship they, know, the devil. they know the truth. Hillary, the like Hillary Clinton had a seance at the White House. They talked to spirits. How do you know that's true? She, <laughs> she, they, said, she it. said it. She, even Obama <laughs> made jokes about it. They, they had a, a seance at the White House, and they said that she was talking to Eleanor Roosevelt's spirit. Because Eleanor Roosevelt was a witch, too. So I guess Hillary had to summon up Eleanor Roosevelt to get some advice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, you know, they worship FDR. You know, the liberals worship FDR, right? So she had a summon up uh, Eleanor Rose. She's a witch. Finish that for me. All right, all right. Uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto God who gave it. That's what happens when you die. Your spirit returns right back. So, and after a while, he, he sends it back down into another body. So that's why these, Reincarnation. That's why these churches are so evil. They teach that some people will go to hell and burn forever. And that's not in the Bible. The Bible don't say that, okay? And we, we, the same thing happens to everybody when you die. We're all, oh, yeah. like when you're born, we all come out of our mom's womb, right? So when you die, we all go back to the father. And that's what the Bible says. So you didn't know that. I mean, did they yeah. teach you that at Catholic school? Yeah. Of course. They teach you about, uh, uh, they, they gonna say you can go to Hades up in uh, the cat. Go to Hades. <laughs> you can go to, go, yeah, go to. I mean, this is all interesting stuff, man, but I don't know. I guess I got to have Wait. a bit more time to form my own opinion. So you, you, you got to be educated. Now, what, what language was the New Testament written in? It was written in oh. Greek. What, what's the Greek word for hell? Uh, I don't know. Gehenna. And Gehenna is an actual place on earth. It's uh, south of Jerusalem. It has a couple of other names. It's known as the Valley of the Sun of Hinnom, 
And it's also known as the Valley of Topic. But it's a place where people used to go burn trash. And they used to sacrifice the Baal, sacrifice children to the devil. But it get, it's called, that's so when you read a Bible in the New Testament and it says hell, he's using it as a metaphor for destruction. Yeah. Okay, it's a metaphor. Well, the reason why you can't you have problems catching what we're teaching you, never, it, oh, yeah. it wasn't meant for you to get it. Oh, yeah. But I mean, so, but I've some heard, people I've are heard, I've heard it all, man. Yeah, I've heard, heard, heard this. so many different things. If you heard it all, I asked you what the... What the Greek it word? Now listen been, to me. I asked you. Since I've had a religion course. I asked you, but you should know. I mean, well, check this out. You a studious man, you would know. You are studious. We can tell. Um, Isaiah 29 and 10. I don't forget much of nothing. Right. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. Say so you a deep sleep. You're snoozing. He, he hitting that snooze button. Listen. <laughs> and have closed your eyes. That alarm going off, he hitting the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> the prophets and your rulers, the seers hath he covered. And that's pretty deep, you know? Yeah, he hit that. So it, I, 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 it's really meant for you not to understand. Like, a, I mean, this is a spirit. Because we were just talking about parables. Guys, and, I yeah, got yeah. to get, get going. No, I do too, man. But, but hey, it was just kicking it's with been you. Real, I mean, it's just like kicking it with people, man. Uh, you guys, you guys see him. <laughs> Like stand up, guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, it's all good. All right, later, all right, later Romney. All right, Romney. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh yeah, that's Ryan. <laughs>